mistake. Jack might go quickly, but the silver plate, no doubt he will treasure for a long time. Cameraman gather round him as Mike Ford deservedly receives his award as the player of the month. Looking very pleased in Michael as he shakes hands. No doubt, got to come back one more, hanging on to the plate. And so we come to the start of this near end of the season game. Wigan can't make, I don't think, the championship now. We'll be looking to stay up among the top three. The Wigan team for this afternoon, Sean Edwards at fullback. Wood, number two, number three, Colin Whitfield, number four, Donlan, number five, Gill, number six, Kenny, number seven, Michael Ford, number eight, Courtney, number nine, Kiss, number ten, Danny Campbell, number eleven, West, number twelve, Don, number thirteen, Scott, and number fourteen, substitute is Detroit, and number fifteen is Williams. So Wigan was still with a few changes in the ranks, whether the resting players or whether they're injured. Only those who know the inner politics of the club can know that. Hunslet K at fullback, number two Bowden, number three Murray, number four Evans, number five is a trialist there, another. Standoff Diamond six, Scrum half seven King, Van Bellen at eight, Gray at nine, Marson at ten, Graham at eleven. Idle at 12, Mitchell at loose forward as Hunslet kick off from right to left. Wigan turning in hard, coming in, driving outside the 25 line. Kiss hands it inside, Campbell taking the forwards with him. Hunslet up quickly to meet him. Kiss moves it to Ford, Ford on to Courtney. Courtney going forward and Wigan not really gained any ground so far. Still around their own 25 as it's flung back to Edwards. Edwards kicks, it's been chased back by Kay. Kay takes it 35 yards from his own line. Nearly through there but taken well by Donlan. Hunslet with it, trying to drive the way up and it's Donlan again who goes into the tattle to take Evans. Moved across, Hunslet moving it along the line, turning it back inside. Marson, the blind side prop, caught in possession. Hunslet trying to get it out towards the left wing. Standoff half, hands it on, on to Murray. Murray's taken just short of the halfway line. And it's scrum half King, moves it across the field. Mitchell tries to come forward, taken in the fifth tackle, still inside his own half. Gray lobs it back. Coming straight to Wood on his 25 line, not a good kick by the fullback. the cover is there, Hunslet are up to put him down, 10 yards outside the Wigan, 25, Kissed as well to take that, Wigan a bit slow getting back, Ford hands it inside onto Scott, his feet go from under him, but a sticky surface, Kiss waiting, attacked in half back, onto Ford, Ford moves it across to Campbell, Campbell slips it nicely, Wigan following up well, nearly got it moving, Kiss shoving them off, wanting to get on with the game. Hands it out to Ford, Ford to Courtney. Courtney hanging on to it, arms a lot, can't get rid of the ball. He's caught in the fifth tackle. As Kiss comes up, very, very windy day. Comes back to Edwards. Lifts it high, it's no good one for Kiss. He does well to take it as Kay running it out. Runs into the Wigan tackling and Gill has stolen the ball. In quickly there to set Wigan up. With another six tattles coming. Ford sends a long one to Kenny. Kenny out to Dunn. Dunn managed to get his pass in. Comes out onto Wood. Wood going inside. Evades one tattle. Wood coming strongly. He's put down just inside the Hunslet half. Kiss coming over. Going through from acting half back. Strong run. Can't get rid of the ball, but he's taken it a long way. He's carried it to 10 yards outside the. Hunslet 25, on to Campbell, Campbell driving forward, puts his shoulder in. Struggling on the ground for possession as Kiss gets it out to Ford. Ford a long one to Kenny. Kenny holding a short one, West is through. Turns it on to Don, Don going hard for the line. Looking for support, he's put down in the fifth tassel, 10 yards out. 
Lobbed quick. Bouncing awkwardly, but it comes to Marson. Marson takes it. Nine yards out from his own line. Hunslet pushed back into their own 25 line. Hooker Gray trying to bring the ball away. Doesn't get very far. King waiting behind to play the ball. Switch of direction as the forwards trying to bring it away. And we're going to ring quickly and hard. Trying to pin them down inside the 25. As Idle plays the ball back. And a good run by the acting halfback. And those long arms of Graham West stretch out to put him down. But Hunter bringing the ball away well at the moment. The centre, Murray coming through hard on the burst. He's snatched out of the air by Colin Whitfield. Little overhead kick here. Graham West is there, takes it well. Driving hard forward. Kiss out to Ford. Ford moves it on to Kenny. Kenny reverse pass to Ford. Scott a long one out to Gill on the wing. Gill sidestepping inside. And the crowd roar with anticipation. Always expecting something from this man. Dancing and jinking and turning and twisting like a dervish. Keeps the ball going, keeps the game. Kenny holding it. Dunn breaks through, looking for support. Wigan have lost the ball. Drop. <coughs> and Idle drops on it. Wigan intent on keeping the game moving. Honslet now moving across the field. Long pass, not gaining any ground. Ford is in there to push Hunslet back, Evans pushed back in possession now it's Van Bellen trying to drive forward easily tattled by Wigan just outside the Hunslet 25 Hunslet keeping it tight in the forwards at the moment and Wigan taking them quite easily they're presenting no problem at the moment there's a high deep kick coming to Edwards takes it cleanly has Wood with him, Dummies tries to go through Taken by the standoff half diamond. Colin Whitfield, a good strong run, giving his time, his team, time to regroup, plays it quickly. Out to Ford, Ford doing the switch to Campbell. Campbell coming hard and straight, taken low and hard, can't get away from that tap, and it goes to Ford. Ford to Scott, Scott going at them, down the middle, breaking through, on to Kenny. Kenny, they just managed to grab his ankles. They got him by his Achilles heel as he looks as if he was through. Long pass, Wigan having to hesitate, Donlan having to go back for it. Gets it to Edwards, Edwards a high one to Gill, which he does well to hang on to, but the referee says it's the fifth tattle. As it comes to Ford, Ford lifts it high, not very deep. A lot of snow on that as the forwards go under it. Taken by Wigan, but they're going to get caught in the th fifth tattle. So we have the rollover as Murray plays the ball back, and now we'll have the groveling stuff as Van Bellen tries to drag his way forward very pedestrian stuff when Hunslet are in possession and Marson is easily taken scrum half moves it out Kiss is in there to complete the tattle King goes to act in half back moves the ball across the field still on the 25 line Dummy from Murray, right centre, doesn't get very far. Hunslet finding it very hard to make any progress at all as it goes to Diamond. Puts the kick in, got the wind with him, stands up for Edwards on his 25 line. There's Gill on his outside, gets it out to Gill. Gill being well taken by his opponent, by Bowden, opposite number. Comes inside to... Scott a short one onto Graham West. Graham West dragging them with him, taking them with him, long striding. They can't get him down. Comes out to Ford, Ford to Campbell. Campbell trying to force his way through, but his arms are locked. He can't get rid of the ball. And Ford has come to act in half back onto Scott. Scott coming hard and straight. They're having a job holding him. Gets it out. Edwards takes it well. Followed by Murray, who puts him down. Wanted to get up late quick to Wood. Wood to Ford. Ford to Long one goes along the floor, Graham West takes it well. Don out onto Whitfield, Whitfield streaking, gets it out to Donlan. He has Gill with him on the inside. Donlan's going for the line. And he's taken five yards short of the line. Gill inside, onto what And it didn't go to West. Kenny is given an obstruction. West came through, hoping to get the short pass on the burst. Kenny didn't give it to him, put the kick in. And the referee had judged that it was an obstruction, going through without the ball. 
That will be a relief for Hunslet as Wigan were really turning it on now. <laughs> Ten minutes of the game gone. Diamond puts it into touch. Almost on his own 25. <laughs> King, the scrum half. Restart with the tap. Hunslet moving it in their own 25 and then blindside prop Marson decides he'll try and make a dart Wigan going in well swept nicely inside there Graham West into the tattle wraps him up <coughs> King waiting for the play of the ball and a nice move there by, by Graham a good run by Graham looking for support Sean Edwards wraps him up but that was a good run he plays the ball to himself looking for support gets it on to Hooker Gray and he's snuffed out on the Wigan 25 line, but Hunslet came through well. The second row forward rang extremely well, and Wigan penalised for offside at that play of the ball. This could well be the first points going on the board. It's an easy kick, it's only 20 yards out, a few yards to the left of the post. Hunslet playing from right to left, kicking down towards the pavilion end of the ground. Standoff, Diamond, setting it up. The bulk of the attacking have come so far from Wigan and this one single break has put Wigan in trouble and Diamond puts uh, puts them into the lead, puts Hunslet in the lead, Wigan nil, Hunslet two. Wigan playing into the wind in this first half. Very, very strong wind this afternoon. Well, it's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit erratic, isn't it, the wind? It's very strong, it's very extremely strong. Low kick from Whitfield. Diamond hanging onto the ball, running forwards. Not a lot of power in his running. King waiting for the play of the ball. We're going up very quickly. We're lucky they weren't caught offside. The play of the ball was slow and we can moved up. Hunslet inside their own 25. Kick into the Wigan half. Edwards has it covered. Bounces nicely for him. Coming up to the halfway line. Turning inside. He's taken by Murray. Whitfield going through from acting half back. The Wigan team regrouping. Kiss sends it inside to Campbell and a penalty to Wigan for offside at that play of the ball. Graham West saying, hang on, we'll have it into touch. 12 yards inside the Hunslet's half. Right in midfield as Colin Whitfield comes to kick down the Hunslet left wing. Touch judge marks it 20 yards out from the Hunslet line. Wigan now in a good attacking position. Kiss comes over to restart with the tap. Ford on his left, it's Ford who gets it short, one to Campbell. One takes him low, one takes him high, doesn't dent the defence. To Ford, Ford to West, West doing his dummy, going through, slips it to Scott, Scott going for the line. Can't get his pass into Dunn, the referee says it's a knock-on. Graham West regularly does this dummy run round with his scrum half, looks if he's going to give it him, then straightens up and goes himself, slipped the ball nicely to Scott, but Wigan couldn't capitalise on it, so we scrum down. Double advantage here to Hunslet as they put it in, it comes straight out the side and he lets it go, the scrum half breaks away. Took the easier course there, the scrum half. Acting half back, trying to come in, come away with it, Wigan holding them. Forwards trying to come away, Wigan forwards trying to keep them there. Still inside the Hunslet 25. Switch back inside, Courtney's there, does a lot of the closing tackles, he takes idle. Graham West is in the fifth tackle. 
Hundlet struggling in their own 25 as the ball's flung back. Awkward bouncing ball inside the Wigan half. It comes nicely eventually for Edwards. Dummies to give it and he caught in possession. Very following him, not giving him an inch to move. Whitfield again behind the play of the ball. Short one to Campbell. Campbell driving in hard. Let's the ball go. Wigan managed to fall on it. Kenny has it. Uh, Kiss has it. West moves it on to Ford. Ford to Kenny. Kenny to Scott. A short one to Dunn. Dunn trying to break through. On to Scott. Scott can't hold the ball. It's been knocked on and dropped on by Van Bellen. Conditions not good for handling today as Hundlett come driving forward. Courtney and Kiss go into the tattle. Mitchell dumbing with it to Van Bellen. Van Bellen moving it, coming inside. Whitfield holds his man. He managed to get it back to Van Bellen. Van Bellen gets it onto Hooker Gray. Gray trying to go through and he's buried underneath the Wigan defence. King behind the play of the ball, darting through. Probably wishes he hadn't. He stopped dead in his tracks. Gray, the hooker, gets it out onto Mitchell. Mitchell turning it back inside. That looked like a forward pass. Second Roman gets long pass out onto Idle. Idle going for the line. Held three yards out in the fifth tattle. King behind the play of the ball. Overlap here. Is really easy at the corner. The Wigan defence. Very slack there. And the first try goes to Hunslet, in a yard in from the corner. The second row forwards have been causing Wigan a little bit of trouble, not taking them as they should do. And so Hunslet go into a six points to nil lead. As Mary put the ball down in a yard from the corner flag. Diamond, a long kick to take. And most of the time, Hunslet looks so innocuous and then suddenly these gaps appear. Players not being put down. Diamond from the left hand touch line, kicking down towards the pavilion. Wigan only lost two league games at home this season. One to Bradford, one to St Helens. Entirely different class of teams from this they're up against today, but we're halfway through the first half and the score is Wigan nil, Hunslet six, and the Wigan crowd getting a little frustrated, a little exasperated. Rather intolerant when they start to give the slow hand clap, really. Hunslet can bring it away in their own 25. Campbell goes in, buries wingman, trialist. Van Bellen trying to come through. Campbell's in there again. King moves it across the field, out to his right, handed on, turning it back inside. Hunslet moving it in their own 25. Graham West goes across, reaches out, stretches out. Campbell goes in and misses the hooker. The hooker to break him through. Don has to retreat to take him. Graham lobs back onto Kay. Kay lifts it high into the Wigan 25. Edwards knocks it back. Makes sure of it, 10 yards out from his own line. Running crossfield. Being followed by Murray, there's a lot of green jerseys across there to take him. Wood sensibly gone behind him, running the... Wigan sorting themselves out, it comes to Gill. Gill coming through from acting half-back. An awful lot of jerseys in front of him. He's still on his feet, gained a lot of ground, on to Kiss. Keeps it moving well. Wigan a long pass on to Kenny, Kenny holding it. Out to Woods, he can't reach it. Little too far for him. So it's knocked on just outside the Wigan 25.
King to feed the scrum just outside the Wigan 25 puts it in Wigan penalised I think he shouted loose arm we can almost hit he's signalling it is a loose arm penalty to Hunslet in direct penalty just outside the Wigan 25 Diamond we put it into touch 15 yards out from the Wigan line King coming up to take it Van Bellum wanting it on the burst come driving forward Wigan well taken by Courtney comes out onto Graham Graham moves the ball across right in front of the Wigan line Wigan under pressure here in defence losing my six points to nil and he kicks the ball forward it's gone loose been snapped up by Wigan and well brought away good clearing run by Dunn tremendous run he's lost the ball ball still loose and the referee is having the word with Wood after that great run by Dunn unfortunately he lost the ball and so Wigan have lost the advantage referee signals that uh, Wood put one in um, Diamond pushes Wigan back again into their own 25 so once more Wigan have to defend Hunslet with the six tattles coming up King the scrum half taking the tap onto Van Bellen he comes forward easily taken by the Courtney and Kiss Gray waiting for the play of the ball Gray darting Wigan stand waiting for him he was allowed to gain a lot of ground King dumbing with it behind the play of the ball goes on to the trialist winger who's knocked down King waiting for the play of the ball dumbing it a short pass on to Marson Marson stopped dead in his tracks King to Mitchell Mitchell decides he's going to go on his own and we can hold him fifth tattle King long one out Graham puts a grubber kick Edwards caught in his own in goal and gets the ball move the referee said he was tattled well one wonders it was either or, one would have thought it was either all right or a penalty <laughs> Whitfield to drop out coming to the trialists on the halfway line running up to the cherry and white line of defense and Ford takes him King waiting for the play of the ball to Mitchell Mitchell dumbing with it Kiss wrestles him down to the ground King running through from acting half back can't get rid of the ball taken again by Courtney Gray the hooker moves it to Mitchell Mitchell across to Van Bellen Van Bellen running wide easily tattled by Kenny it's a few yards inside the Wigan 25 Mitchell moves it across Graham going forward Wigan having a job putting him down eventually Campbell comes over the referee signals that's five tattles King tries to drop goal and it's gone wide and dead so be a trap from the Wigan 25 Wigan under quite a bit of pressure there for five minutes yes forward with him onto Courtney Courtney and Wigan have lost the ball and they're offside yes referees right Graham West couldn't take it cleanly Courtney natural action caught the ball and so Diamond will kick for goal this could put the eight points in front an instinctive reaction the ball was there he took it Not too difficult kick for Diamond and yet it is a very erratic wind that's blowing 25 minutes gone and it curls in that's eight points to nil but we're gonna gonna have to struggle we're gonna have to fight sometimes when you're playing against poor opposition it's uh, somewhat difficult to lift the game but Tunzlet leading by eight points to nil Whitfield to kick down to the cop 
Wind blows the ball over. Very difficult to know which direction the wind is blowing as Whitfield kicks a deep one. And it's a good one. Bounces about a yard in the in goal area and then over the dead ball line. So it's a, a drop out from underneath the Hunslet post. That was a good kick, well judged kick by Colin Whitfield. Hunslet from underneath their own sticks. <laughs> Hangs in the air a bit for Ford, takes it well. On to Dunn, Dunn striding forward, there's plenty of cover there and he's easily dumped down. Ford, on to Danny Campbell, Campbell dies into the tattle, the crowd groan. Case to Ford, Ford, penalty to Wigan, offside, almost in front of the post. I think Wigan might want to get some points on the board. And Gill being called over to take this kick. It's uh, 10 yards to the right of the post. Score eight points to nil. Gill left footed, kicking from the right hand side of the field. Almost a straight kick. And it's true, so Wigan have got the first points on the board. After about 26 minutes play, Wigan 2, Huddersfield 8. Huddersfield down to the pavilion end of the ground. High into the 25 line. Oh, and Scott did extremely well not to knock on there. He juggled with a little bit of ledger to man there, a bit of sleight of hand as it comes in. Courtney dropped a dolly of a pass. Bit of slightness in the Wigan handling. Scrum down, 15 yards out from the Wigan line. Hunslip feed. And a penalty to Wigan. The referee not signalled, but signalling now is for feet up. Whitfield to put it into touch. Down the huns at left wing. Slews off the side of his outside of his foot. Goes safely into touch. It will be kissed to restart. With the tap to Ford. Ford to Courtney. Courtney running into the props, both props hanging on to them, eventually force him down to the deck. Kiss to Ford, Ford to West, West gives it on to Ford to Dunn, striding through. Can't get his pass him, he was coming well onto that ball. Kiss out to Ford, Ford to West, now West comes hard onto it, taking them with him. Running his way up to the halfway line, Ford moving it across to Kenny. Kenny looking for support, runs back into the cover in the middle, he's getting a bit of a ball in as they push him back and he's driven back. Ford kicks behind the defence into the 25, K having to go back, ball could well roll dead, K lets it go. So it'll be a tap from the 25. Ten minutes to go to half time. Wigan two, Hunslet eight. Wigan not to pose any sustained pressure in attack as Van Bellen drives forward. King waiting for the play of the ball. To Gray coming back inside. Wigan forwards going to take him. King once more. The moving forth, throws a long one back to Kay. Edwards taps it back, makes sure, but it holds it with his foot. Murray's up there again, can't break through those that sort of tattling. Has to die with it just outside his 25. Whitfield bringing the ball away as Wigan back pedal, and he's snatched out of the air by Murray and Marson. 
Ford to Campbell, Campbell running at them, gets the short one on to Kiss, Kiss trying to force his way through, always difficult to take, plays it back to Campbell, not a good play the ball, Campbell to Ford, Ford on to Dunn, Dunn striding through, gets it on to Kenny, Kenny a long one out to Gill, there's bags of cover, Gill good, beats him beautifully, going for the line inside, Kenny's there, Kenny gets it out to Edwards, and Edwards is snatched out of the air, that was good backing up with Wigan, wanted to get on with it quickly, and hanging on, and all the advantage is lost, except it's a penalty, Wigan take it quickly, and they're still not gone the ten yards back, so Wigan can take the penalty again. Ford, a few yards from the line. Not a good pass to Kenny. There's a gap as West goes for the line, and he's over. Well worked move by Wigan. Makes it now Wigan six, Huntley eight. And Wigan swept down the field well there, set up originally by Gill, who went beautifully down the left wing. There must have been a temptation for Wigan to take the penalties. It was right underneath the post, and only a few yards out, they decided they would go for the try, and the try they got. Ten yards to the right of the post. That's brought Wigan right back into the game as Gill comes up left-footed to try and level the scores. Just over the half hour, and it's there, absolutely sure. Scores now level, Wigan 8, Huzler 8, and perhaps Wigan might now get into the rhythm and the fluid football which they're capable of playing, but which have not managed to turn on yet this afternoon. Hunslet to restart, scores level after 32 minutes. Ford, sure, onto Scott. Scott driving hard forward as his feet taken from under him. Kiss out to Ford. Ford to Campbell. Campbell coming forward, running into the forwards, and they put him down. Kiss going through a great dart by Kiss. Gained a lot of ground. He's in wide open spaces. And lets the ball go to Ford, did well to get rid. And his pass is knocked down, comes to Edwards, and Edwards is caught by the trialist. But we're going to back to one. Gets to Ford, Ford to Kenny, a high one. Kenny to Courtney, Courtney driving through. Arms are locked, he can't get rid of the ball as he's taking them with him, but he's held up on his feet. Kenny behind to play the ball, moves it out onto Dunn, Dunn coming back inside. Take by the loose forward, take low and hard. Ball comes to Ford. Ford holding it on to Kenny. Short one. West striding through majestically. Going for the line. Couldn't get rid of it, but he loved it to see him striding. Plays the ball to himself. Going for the line. He can't reach over. Managed to get it to Ford. Ford a long one to Ward. Woods it in the corner. Well, that was well set up by Graham West. Well set up by Graham West. So Wigan, just before half time, going to the lead. And it's so windy up here, my pen's blown away. That's a, a nice time to score. And as uh, one of the uh, professional commentators on Radio Manchester made his big gaff a few weeks ago and said, There's two, t two good times for score just before you go in. And before you come out. So Wigan have just managed to get the try, get into the lead, just before they go in for half time. And Henderson Gill, a difficult kick to take. It's only a yard in from the touchline, having problems getting the ball settled, making his mark because the wind is extremely strong. Bright sunshine but a strong cold wind. Kiss going to have to go up to hold the ball for him. Shows you how difficult 
playing conditions are and that was a good effort just wide under difficult conditions so with 35 minutes gone <coughs> Wigan now starting to get on top of Hotlet Wigan 12, Hunslet 8, as Hunslet kick again to the 25, well taken by Wood, on to Scott, Clock driving forward, taken by his opposite number, Mitchell at loose forward, Ford hands it on to Courtney, and Courtney being watched by the rest of the team as he takes the ball, they force him down to the ground, to Campbell, Campbell running out and puts his shoulder in, Met by two forwards, has to die with the ball. On to Kenny. Kenny turning and twisting, getting smothered, can't get rid of the ball. Goes to Ford. Ford a long one to Courtney, has to take it standing still, puts his shoulder down, managed to lob it back to Campbell, to Edwards. Edwards looking for a gap, nearly through, gets it on, Wigan. Unfortunately, couldn't take it. Knocked on Ford, following him up. Couldn't take his pass. King waiting for the player of the ball. Moves it across. On to Mitchell. Mitchell hands it on to Van Bellen. And Van Bellen is easily tattled by Don. King moves it across. On to Mitchell coming inside. Graham West. Forder into the tattle. Long one, Graham moves the ball across onto K, the fullback. K running back in, like running into a brick wall, and he's bounced down to the ground. Long one onto Mitchell, Mitchell onto K, being swung round, and Graham is put down by the Wigan forwards. Comes out onto King, puts into the Wigan, over the dead ball line, so it'll be a tap from the Wigan 25. Just a couple of minutes to go to half time. We're going to lead him by 12 points to 8 as Kiss comes up with Ford on his left. Ford takes it, hands it on onto Courtney. Courtney's pass has gone astray. Little bit of indecision as to whom it was going to and uh, not taken cleanly by Brian Dunn. And so Wigan lost the advantage from that tap out after scrum down just inside their own 25. King puts it in. Pike wheel it shoots out to King. Bad pass goes on to Day. Day turning and twisting. Coming strong. A good run by Day. And eventually it's Edwards who wraps him up. And that was a good strong run by the Hunslet fullback. Comes out onto the standoff half. Gets it out. And Wigan are in um, Wood is in well. Trying to push him in the touchline. The ball's gone loose. The referee said it's touch should said it's gone over the line. Wigan to put in, 20 yards out. This game simmering but never coming to the boil. Ford puts it in. Long one to Kenny, good pass to Kenny but he's caught as he's getting the ball, can't get rid of it. Kiss over quickly, getting into position. On to Scott, Scott coming hard and straight. Gains a valuable 10 yards of ground. And there's all sorts of messing going on at the play of the ball, hacking away, and the referee decides that Hunslet were at fault. So it'll be a relief for Wigan, he's been able to kick down towards the Hunslet left touch line. Whitfield just inside his own 25. Changes his mind, takes a tap, runs it out. Trying to make a break, caught in possession. Graham West is behind him. Graham West moves it across to Campbell. Campbell dummying, turning his back in rugby union style as if he's going to funnel it, but he keeps it. Comes to Ford, Gill's in the middle, but he missed Gill out and it goes to Dunn. Dunn trying to come through and the legs and arms stretching across him. And he has to die with the ball. Gill behind the play of the ball, turning and twisting, trying to hand them off. The, all round him like bees round the jam pot, swarming around him, 
afraid of what he's going to do and it goes to Ford Ford to Kenny Kenny doubling with it turns it back inside to Edwards Edwards coming on the bust he's caught in the fifth tackle Ford running it from Acton Halfback on to Campbell Campbell on to Kenny he's through Ford's on his inside holding it on to Ford can Ford make it has he got the legs and he's over great combination by the Wigan Halfback well the half packs did well and Kenny hung on to that ball and hung on to it till the vital moment to deliver it making it now Wigan 16 Hunslet 8 Sand being brought on Too difficult kick and that shows you what the wind is like it's blown it off the tee referee stops the clock Kenny coming up I think he's gonna have to hold everything's blowing away here in our commentary box pens and papers are flying all over the place it's extremely difficult to win Whitfield Hits the post, hits the upright. Well, it is not easy today. But Wigan seem to be getting right on top. As we now come into injury time, into stoppage time in this first half. Wigan, 16, Hunslet 8. This time it's a short one. Graham West safe and sure, driving forward, taking them with him, dragging them with him, powerful run. <laughs> Determination and vigour in that, comes to Campbell, Campbell turning and twisting. Wigan not got past the gain line as it went across. Now Ford going on the narrow side, dumbing with it. On to Ward, Wood coming inside, nearly had his head taken off, manages to recover. Kenny gone to act in half back. Kenny inside onto Edwards. Edwards puts the grubber kick in. Straight to Day. Right down his throat. Day running across the field. Faster than Scott. He can't get to him. And eventually he's knocked to the ground. And there goes the Hooter for a first half that hasn't really got going extremely well. The half time score Wigan 16, Hunslet 8. Well, Hunslet have a substitute on, two substitutes on. Sampson and Hughes are both on. The ball comes to Bowden. Running out, Campbell goes at him. It's Courtney who comes in to complete the tackle. Start of this second half. Wigan 16, 
Hunslet 8, Sunslet trying to clear the 25 line. Graham moves it across the field. Sampson trying to go through. King waiting for the play of the ball. Graham West mothers his man quite easily. Hunslet just moving across the field on their own 25. Substitute trying to bustle his way through. He's caught in the fifth tackle. Flung back to the full back today, running it out. Scott goes across and gets away from him, managed to get his kick in. Coming straight to Edwards on his 25 line. It's a kick, running out towards the right wing, makes a nice break. Good run by Edwards. Gets it out onto Woods. Woods coming inside. Woods over the halfway line. Plenty of cover there, but that was a strong run by Woods. That's a, a nice break. Hunslet lying up very close and very flat as Kenny moves it across, short one to West, West striding through as his legs taken from under him, Kenny. On to Ford, Ford to Campbell, Campbell driving forward. Still taking his way, managed to get it inside on to Donlan, Donlan out to Gill, Gill going inside. Evans hanging on to him. And idle. Donlan on to Ford, Ford to Kenny. Kenny Short one to Courtney, Courtney's bust through, couldn't get rid of the ball, wanting a quick play, plays it to himself, drops the ball back, Ford knocks it forward. In their eagerness to keep the ball moving, Wigan have lost possession because this will be Hunslet to feed the scrums. 35 yards out, ball goes in the pack, coming out to Hunslet's side, breaking round the narrow side. Evans being brought in, runs in very strongly. Gets it out onto Borden, and Borden is caught in possession. King waiting for the play of the ball, gets it out onto Sampson. Sampson coming. He said Sampson's coming strongly, but that might have been thought to be a play on words as Hunslet moved the ball along the centre line. And they've gone back in possession. Now there's a gap. Kiss follows the scrum half King and swings him round. Loose forward, Mitchell coming inside, dummy, kiss again, with Courtney, puts him down just outside the Wigan 25, King behind the play of the ball, long pass, that's a nice little grubber kick through for the centre, gets it out onto the trialist who knocks on, but that was a nice little kick there, nice football from Hunslet, just didn't quite come off, so we scrum down. 15 yards out from the Wigan line. Ford to feed the scrum, Wigan with the loose head. Coming out the Wigan side, the referee not happy the way it's come out. Hughes, substitute, has gone to open side prop. Referee trying to get a tunnel. Shoots straight out of the pack and Wigan penalised for feet up. King wanted a quick tap, moves it across. Diamond trying to go through, taken by the Wigan forwards. King behind the play of the ball, long one. Evans gets it out. Evans trying to go through, tattled in possession. Bowden waiting behind the play of the ball. Bowden going back inside, wrapped up by the Wigan forwards. King waiting for the play of the ball, running through from acting half back, gets it on to Hughes, Hughes a short one on to Evans, Evans turns it back inside, on to Samson, Samson going very hard and they're over and right under the sticks. Graham has scored, bringing Hunslet back into the game. Wigan 16, Hunslet 12. An easy kick for Diamond right in front of the post. There was a mass exodus at half time from the cop end of the ground down to the pavilion end, thinking that all the attacking was going to come from Wigan. But uh, thank you very much. Diamond. Mix, absolutely sure, they're only two points behind now. Five minutes of the second half gone. Wigan 16, Hunslet 14.
Colin Whitfield down to the pavilion end. Low and hard, and it's covered on the try line. Referee says he knocked on, not happy with the decision. And that's turned out to, to be a good move for Wigan. He said he knocked on in his own in goal area. Dane K not taking the ball cleanly. So it's a dropout from underneath the Hunslet Pulse. Lifted high. Donlan's across, whips it inside onto Ford. Ford a long one. Onto Brian Dunn. Dunn trying to break through, but they hang on to him. He has to die with the ball. Ford behind the play of the ball. Switches inside to Campbell. Campbell driving forward. Two of them forcing down in the 25. Kiss going through from Acton half back. Couldn't get rid of it out to Campbell, who was with him. Hunters at line very flat, and the referee calling the trainer on to Kiss, who's hurt in the tattle. Hunters, of course, in defence in their own 25, are lying up as close as they dare. No doubt the holy water will bring him round, it looks as like if it's a bit of ankle trouble. Wigan substitutes today are Williams and Dutoy, neither of them are hooker. Scott has gone into the middle of the front row occasionally when Wigan have had problems. If Kiss should have to come off. Keith Mills taking quite some time attending to him. A hard lad. To Ford, Ford to Scott. Scott a short one onto West. West dragging his way through, but Sampson hangs on to him. Long one out to Kenny. Kenny wide ball out to Donlan. Donlan bringing Gill inside. Gill dancing and twisting and turning. Manages to keep him play. Donlan got to act in half back to Ford. Ford lifts it high near the post. Swirling and goes dead. The wind got hold of it took it over the dead ball line so it's a tap from the Hunslet 25 10 minutes into the second half we're in 16 Hunslet 14 short pass on to Hughes Hughes taken and we can penalise for lying on at the play of the ball Hunslet take the tap Moving it out across their own 25 line, Ford goes into the tattle, helped by Brian Dunn. King waiting for the play of the ball. King moves it inside. Graham passes it on. We could not put in the men down, the ball's been dropped. <laughs> Marson wouldn't go down with the ball, Wigan were hanging on to him. Eventually, the ball was dropped. Ball's coming out the Wigan side to Kenny. Kenny on to Donlan who linked up well, gets it back to Kenny. Kenny keeps it moving to Whitfield. Whitfield making the break on to Edwards. Edwards bringing Woods inside as bags of cover there, but he ran strongly into the 25 line. And doesn't look yards offside as Wigan move the ball across. Wide one to Kenny. Kenny goes through a gap, turning back inside. Gonna have to die with it on the 25 line. Great O goes from the crowd. Kiss going through from acting half back. A lot of hard tattling going on at the moment. Graham West going through from the play of the ball from acting half back, taking them with him. Bit of a wasted tattle. We can not moving fluidly at the moment. It comes to Campbell. Campbell trying to drive through. It's knocked down with the fifth tattle. Scott behind the play of the ball to Ford. Ford hoists it. Follows it up, it's an awkward ball. Ball's not dead by Wigan, but they've been given offside. So it's a penalty against Wigan, a couple of yards out from the Hunslet line. They decide they're going to take a tap. Campbell going in. 
Hunslet, 10 yards out, acting half back, allowed to run a long way before it eventually Campbell goes in. King plays it to himself, darts forward. Kiss and Campbell go in to take him. 10 yards outside the Hunslet, 25. Hunslet keeping it tight in the forwards at the moment. Now they start to move the ball across the field. Not a lot of ground gained, a long wide pass and the ball's loose, been dropped on by Wigan. Went in well. Scott did well, Whitfield going through from acting half back. Hunslet lying up very close, referee trying to get them back. It's Ford looking to make a break, dancing back inside, going out towards the right wing, proving quite a handful. Eventually he's dragged back from behind. Wood behind the play of the ball to Courtney. Courtney going at them, coming hard and straight, taking them over the 25 line. Kiss to Ford. Ford to Kenny. Ken Kenny dummying. Oh, and Dunn can't take it. It's come to King. The gap was made. He just couldn't take the ball. Hunslet outside their own 25, trying to bring the ball away. Brian Dunn and Campbell going to the tackle. Evans coming over to act in half-back. The left centre. Evans moves it inside. On to Idle. Idle trying to force his way through. King waiting for the ball. Eight yards inside his own half. Short one from Graham. We can go in quick to snuff it out. King going through. Turns it back inside. There's a big gap in the Wigan rank. As Gray goes tearing through. Ball's been lost. He says it's gone forward. But Wigan will cut wide open down the centre. And Detroit is coming on to a great roar of approval from the crowd. And Brian Dunn has gone off. No, it's Kiss who's gone off, and Scott has gone to hooker. So Wigan may have problems with the scrum. The penalty to Wigan, feet up against the opposition. Ford calling Colin Whitfield over. Going to kick down the Hunslet right wing. Slipped as he took it, and it's been knocked on. So Wigan have not got the advantage from that penalty. They could be feeding it now, but uh, they've no hooker. They might be struggling for possession. In these last 25 minutes, 15 minutes gone, the score 16-14. Wigan thought this was going to be an in. They've lost that one from that scrum. It goes out to Kay. Kay running cross field, being chased by Donlan. Whitfield goes across, but turned inside, back onto Kay's, lost the ball. Edwards sensibly make, gets it go to Wood. Wood coming inside, good strong run by Wood, eventually taken round the ankles. Scott to Ford. Four to Detroit, Detroit running into them, but the tassels are there, and he's put down. Ford to Scott, Scott looking, gets it on to Detroit, Detroit dumbing, run, driving hard. Scott gone to act in half-back to Ford, and Hunslet right in the Wigan line, and the pass has been knocked down and knocked on, the referee's seen the knock on. But Hunslet moving right into the Wigan line and stultifying the Wigan movement, making it very difficult for them to move the ball along the line. <laughs> Ford to feed, but Wigan without a recognised hooker. Feet all over the place, it's another penalty to Wigan. Ford takes it quickly onto Kenny. Kenny sees a gap and he's broken through. Dumbing with it, onto Gill. Covers there, Gill knocks off one. Trying to come inside, beating another. Gill still going. Can't get rid of the ball, but that was a nice break by Kenny. Kenny to Ford. Ford on to Donlan. Donlan on to West. West trying to come through, and his arms are locked, and he has to go down with the ball. And he's penalised for not facing the correct way when he played it. Referee's showing that he should have been facing the try line. Penalty to Hunslet. Hunslet just two points behind. On 
to Mitchell. Mitchell moves it on. Sampson, well taken by the Toit. Bonsler trying to move the ball. Wigan coming up to take them, holding them on the halfway line. Finding it difficult to run onto it. Donovan moving up, hangs on to his man, puts him down easily. Ball's played back to Bowden, Bowden trying to go through and Donlan has him again. Then back to Murray, Murray moves it inside. Trying to stretch Wigan, the ball going wide across. And Wigan have pushed them back in possession as Kay goes down in the fifth tackle. Little grubber kick here, Ford is across and it bounces nicely for him. Inside to Edwards, Edwards dancing inside, beats another one, running well. And eventually he's put down, hanging on to him. Wood is intelligently coming to the middle of the field. Gains his three, four yards of ground. Wigan regroup. Comes turned inside to Campbell. Campbell knocks off one. Gets it out onto Scott. Scott going back inside. Taken by Idle. Gill come to act in half back. Decides he's going to make a run. Gets up to the halfway line. Penalty to Wigan for holding on in the tattle. Graham West calming them down. Ford going to kick for touch. Makes absolutely sure. Bangs it in. Ten yards outside the Hunslet 25. Wigan badly needing a score as we've come to halfway through the second half. Scott doing the tap. Back to Scott. Scott on to Dunn. Dunn does well to hang on to that. Take them with him. Ran very determinedly. Scott. Out to Ford, Ford trying to dart down the middle, is broken through. Scott to Courtney. Courtney to Graham West, who straightens up. Lobs it out to Edwards, Edwards dancing and jinking, he's put down 10 yards out. Wigan now hot on the attack. As it comes out onto Kenny, Kenny moves it to Ford. Ford having to juggle with it, gets it back onto Kenny. Kenny trying to dive his way through. There's Three Hunslet players hold of him. Ten yards out. Scott turning it to West. West trying to drive his way over. He's being held just short of the line. The referee signals. That's the fifth tattle. As West plays it to Scott. Kenny lifts it high but too far. It's difficult in this wind to control the ball. So it's a tap from the Hunslet 25. Halfway through this second half, Wigan 16, Hunslet 14, Graham comes charging forward, Hunslet moving the ball out to the right, there's a gap there, Kenny goes in well and takes his mum he bounces up again and Graham West is there to complete the tap. This game not sealed and signed by any means at the moment as Kenny once more goes into the tattle to take the loose forward. King moves it across the field, onto Graham, Graham dumbing, Courtney goes in, the ball's been loose, been knocked on. Wigan fall on it, be glad to have possession. And the referee has given Wigan offside as the ball was loose on the ground. Two Wigan players went to get the possession from the knock on. The referee decides they were offside and so King Hands the ball out onto Diamond. Bit of frustration in the Wigan side at the moment. They're finding it difficult against a poor team. The Suns look come up with the tap penalty. Ten yards inside the Wigan half. King. To Mitchell. Mitchell moving it in on to Sampson. Detroit goes in, takes him well. King wants more to Mitchell. Mitchell to Diamond. Diamond on to Kay. Centre's broken through beautifully. We're going in trouble here as Edwards goes across, takes his man well, but we're getting in a lot of trouble. They're having to backtrack into their own 25. As Unslick get the line moving, Kay hands it on. Gray moves it across. He's over to put Unslet into the lead. Strength took him over. 
And so, halfway through this second half, it's Wigan 16, Hunslet 18, and Wigan having great difficulty getting into this game. Little conference going on in the Wigan in goal area. This is one game we never expected to lose. They're in trouble now, they're behind. Hums that have stuck at the task. <laughs> and Wigan may be struggling to get possession in these last 20 minutes, playing without the kickers. That is not going to reach. So there's still two points in it. Great roar going from the Wigan spectators. They're not happy at being behind to a team of the calibre of Hunslet. Covered on the try line. Hunslet now bringing it away. To tight is up there to put his man down. Hunslet trying to bring it away from their own 25, acting half pack coming through against five yards of ground. Forwards coming onto it, driving in. Courtney goes in and buries his man, went in hard into the tattle. King moves it across. Gray easily put. And no Wigan charger there. Detroit just manages to knock the ankles down in the fifth tattle. Flung back to Kay. Kay kicks high to Edwards on his own 25. Takes it well. Sampson up there to take him. Gill gone to act in half back. Gill dancing there. A lot of cover. Can't get very far. No ground gain as he's smothered by the Hunslet defence. Scott to Ford, Ford to Graham West, Graham West powering his way forward, Hunslet holding Wigan, as three forwards go in to take him, goes to Campbell, Campbell trying to bust his way through, slips it on to Ford, Ford's high pass goes out to Kenny, Kenny along one to Woods on the wing, Woods coming hard, coming inside, lets the ball go, Wigan take it well, Ford, a long one out to Kenny. Kenny, another long pass out to Gill. Gill coming inside, beats his man. He has Edwards with him. He dummies to use Edwards. Still going strongly over the 25, but he can't get rid of the ball. And that's the fifth tattle as Detroit comes up. Moves it to Ford. Ford kicks it high. It's short of the line. Wigan are under it. And he says they're offside. A number of times. The referees seem to think automatically nowadays, and if you kick, you're offside. I don't think they look where the players are running from, as Hunslet take a quick tap penalty. Wigan go in. Hunslet ten yards out from their own line, trying to bring the ball away. Graham West chasing his man. Skull drags him, swings him around. Wigan desperately trying to get back into this game. The ball's gone loose, the referee says it's a knock-on. So we scrum down, 12 yards out, right in front of the post. Wigan to feed, and Wigan with a loose head, but uh, one wonders how Scott's going to manage it hooking. And w Wigan have got it. Comes to Kenny. Kenny out of Whitfield, and Whitfield's dropped it. So Wigan have lost the advantage from gaining that scrum. Not got a single tattle out of it. It's idle, plays the ball. Graham moves it across field to Kay. Graham West following him. Flings him down to the deck. Still inside the Hunslet 25. We can try to hold of them there. Comes back inside. Hunslet keeping the ball moving. Detroit goes into the tattle. King waiting behind the play of the ball. Going through from acting half back. Gets away from Campbell. 
Racing Edwards, King on for the line. Turns it inside. We're getting a lot of trouble here. We look for support. The referee says that's the fifth tackle, but we're getting in a lot of trouble. King behind to play the ball onto Diamond. Diamond holding it, trying to make a break. Donovan takes him. Wigan smother him, so that's the roll over. Wigan got possession now. But they're 10 yards out from their own line. They've a long way to bring it back. Comes to Campbell. Campbell comes driving forward. Gets it out onto Ford. Ford running wide, trying to make a break. Put down 10 yards out, right in front of his own post. Donlan behind to play the ball. On to Dunn, Dunn trying to bring it away. Goes down with the ball, Wigan finding it difficult to come away with it. Comes on to Courtney, Courtney powering his way, gets up to the 25 line before he's put down. Ford, on to West, West going back inside. Can't get rid of the ball. Scott going through from acting half back, dragging his way over the 25 line. That's the fifth tattle as Detroit goes to acting half back. Out to Ford. Ford onto Kenny. Kenny out to Donlan. Donlan coming strongly. Brings Gill inside. Gill driving up. Can't get rid of the ball. He's caught in the sixth tattle on the halfway line. King moves it inside to Borden. Gill chasing him. There's plenty of Wigan jerseys there. Gray waiting behind to play the ball out to Mitchell. Mitchell on to Kay. Kay moves it across. Good tattle by Whitfield, puts him down. Played to the trialist who's trying to go through from acting half back. Still on his feet, proving hard to take, and it's to who puts him down. King behind the play of the ball, going through from acting half back, gets it out to Mitchell, running back inside, and Wigan hold him. Half an hour gone, ten minutes of this game left. Gray trying to go through, still on his feet, gets it on, it's been dropped. Courtney snatches it up and Wigger will be glad to have hold of that ball again. Ford to Campbell, Campbell changing direction, running a bit cross field, and he's hurled down to the ground. Scott behind the play of the ball to Ford. Ford out to Kenny, Kenny gets, hangs on to it, couldn't get through, uh, plays the ball to himself, runs forward, gains a lot of ground. Ford waiting behind to play the ball. Detroit trying to go forward, dragging them with him, but they hang on to him. That's the fifth tattle, and we're going to struggling. It comes to Ford. Ford tries a little grubber kick here and it's covered. Hunslet have it covered inside their own half, taken by Sampson. Idle trying to drive his way through, taken by Scott, just inside the Wigan half. King moves it across. Mitchell going back inside, swung over by Scott. King moves it out. Graham moves it on, on to Diamond, on to Kay. Kay coming back, trying to go through the middle, and it's stitched up. King moves it out. Murray coming hard onto it. Lost the ball, the toy it has it. Coming away, doubling with it, running back inside, taking them with him. Gets up to the halfway line. A lot of endeavour coming from Wigan, but it's not producing much at the moment. Comes long one to Courtney. Courtney's taken man and ball, gets out of a tattle. Good strong run by Courtney, but Hunson are tackling out of the skins at the moment. Donald moves it inside to Ford. Ford on to Kenny. Kenny on to Graham West. Graham West trying to break through, but Hunslet saying they shall not pass. Ford going through from acting half back. Gets it on to Kenny. Kenny turns it inside on to Edwards. Edwards making a break. Gets his pass out. And Wood can't hold, retain possession. The Hunslet have it. Moving it into the middle of the field, trying to drive through the Wigan defence. And Graham West is in to make the tattle. King moves it across. Diamond trying to go through to toy it onto him. 
Hunslet inside their own half. Sampson trying to come through. Well tattled in the fourth tattle. Five tattles gone, signals the referee. As Hunslet knocked on behind the play of the ball. Guy, uh, King in a hurry to get it back for the kick. Knocked it on, so we scrum down just inside the Hunslet half. And a certain amount of desperation in the Wigan players. The ball goes. And Wigan penalised for not putting the ball in. And there is desperation in the Wigan tactics. Sends the scrum half dummy to win the ball. Touch found. Ten yards outside the Wigan 25. King to Graham. Running at the Wigan defence. Easily put down by Graham West. Mitchell. King. On to Hughes. Hughes trying to force his way through. Thrown down by the Wigan defence. Now Grace come over to act in half back. Now Gray keeping it tight at the moment. That's a good run by Gray. Hunslet hanging on to this two point lead and putting the pressure on Wigan. It's flung back, drop goal attempt. And it's gone white, gone dead. Wigan crowd urging the team on now as we come up to the 25. Scott a short one. On to Brian Dunn, Dunn trying to force his way through, has gained 10 yards of ground before he's put down. Scott coming through from acting half back and he's gained a lot of ground, nearly up to the halfway line. Campbell to Ford, Ford a long one, on to Kenny, Kenny holding it, trying it, and he's lost the ball, and Hunslet have it. A lot of frustration in the middle team. Idle plays the ball back onto Evans, and Evans being caught. Idle again, trying to go through, gets away from one tattle, and we're going to have a job putting him down. King waiting behind the play of the ball. King, the short pass onto Mitchell. Mitchell trying to go through, and he's easily tattled by the toit. Comes out onto Graham, he dummies trying to come through. Hurled over in the fifth tattle. Flung back. K kicks. Wood takes it on his try line, trying to run it out. Brings it 12 yards out from the line. Whitfield having to come through from acting half back. Gets nearly up to the halfway line. About five minutes to go as it comes to Ford. Ford on to Dunn, Dunn being snatched out of the air by Gray. Hunslet tattling for dear life now as they're hanging on to this lead. Long pass comes to Kenny, Kenny to Dunn and Dunn coming straight. Ducks under a, a high tattle. Ford, Ford coming through from acting half back. Gets it to Campbell who can't take it cleanly. Groans from the Wigan crowd. And this could be an ignominious defeat for Wigan to Hunslet. Losing 18 points to 16 with about five minutes to go and Hunslet to feed the scrum. It looked like feeding has got away with it and gets it out to Diamond. Diamond's upended by Kenny. King. Moves it out onto Mitchell. And he's lost the ball. Drops the ball. Referee's not sure what's up, took his eyes off, well that should have been a knock on. Comes on to Idle. Idle being picked up by Campbell. King behind the play of the ball. Gets it out, Sampson running cross field, a toy it takes him clean and hard. On the Wigan 25. King on to Hughes, Hughes turning and twisting, not seeming sure what to do with it. Held in the fifth tattle. Bad play, the ball comes back to KK, running it out. Puts an overhead kick. Running, being run out by Edwards. Managed to get into the field of play. And it's a penalty to Wigan for a trip. 
foot went across him Whitfield brings play away from the Wigan line Woods on to Scott Scott to Ford Ford to Campbell, Campbell coming in hard, there's plenty of cover there as he runs up to the 25 line. Scott moves it to Ford, Ford a long one to Kenny, Kenny doing the run around, back to Kenny, Kenny doubled with it on to Dolman, Dolman coming through, taken from behind. Gill gone to acting halfback, doing a run from acting halfback, he's trying to come down midfield but there's plenty of cover there as he's forced down to the ground. Dolman to Ford. Ford onto the toy. The toy straightening up. Gets out of one tackle. Still driving his way forward. Gets the ball to Gill. Gill trying to come through hard and straight. Put down on the halfway line. Scott to Ford. Ford to Kenny. Kenny holding it. Arms are locked. He can't get rid of the ball. He looks him with no legs then. Plays it back to West. West going through from acting half back. Turning it inside. Goes out onto Edwards, Edwards can't take it cleanly, knocked on. And it's sheer frustration in this Wigan team. Things not going right for them as we come almost up to the last seconds of this game. It will be King to put the ball in with the score, Wigan 16, Hunslet 18, and this is a turn up for the move. He puts the ball in, Hunslet with it just inside their own half. Hanging on to what they've got. The forwards are still sorting themselves out. Hunslet ten yards inside the Wigan half. Moving the ball along the line. Graham West goes into the tattle. Long one out to Mitchell, Mitchell going back inside. Eventually put down in the fifth tattle, 10 yards outside the Wigan 25. Flung back to Kay. Gill takes it in his own in goal area, slips and he's caught in the... Referee says no, he's in the field of play, plays it to himself, drives forward. Slipped inside, Edwards getting it moving on to Ford. And it's a penalty to Wigan. Ford, not a lot of ground gain, gets it into touch. Wigan wanted to get on quick, it realises that we're almost into injury time. Scott to Ford, Ford to Kenny, Kenny to Donlan. Donlan stepping back inside, gets it moving on to the toy, the toy trying to come through, looking for support, still going, and he's lost possession, possession which Wigan were desperately needing to hang on to, but Hunslet got it just outside the Wigan 25. Gray, the hooker, going through from acting half back. Centre, Murray trying to come through. No hurry for Hunslet, the two points in front as Mitchell goes back inside. Dumped down by Courtney. King onto Idle, Idle trying to go through, keeping the ball, that's the fifth tattle. Setting themselves up again to be throw it back to Kay and it's, it's to the standoff he goes, he lifts it high, tries to drop goal and it's there. 19 to 16. And this is a turn up for the book, two points that Wigan never expected to lose on their own ground. They've had a good record this season and now it's been tarnished by this defeat by Hunslet to have it inside their own 25. Probably happy to hang on to it, die with the ball as Mitchell goes down. Gray the hooker running cross field. Swung down by the toit. Not getting up very quickly. 
Hunslet keeping it tight as Graham tries to come through. Rolled over by Campbell. On to Hughes. Hughes coming into the middle. Put down in the fifth tattle. Back to Kay. Kay kicks behind the wing of defence. Edwards is there. Misjudges the bounce. It's Woods who has to take it. Woods running cross field. Knocks out of one tattle. Still going K after him. Eventually he's put down Tanya. And there goes the Hooter. Wigan have lost. And the Wigan spectators not happy with that defeat. With the final score. Wigan 16. Hunslet 19. That's a great disappointment to the Wigan fans in the build up to Wembley. And so as the players go off. Wigan having lost unexpectedly. This is your commentator John McDermott. Hoping that you have at least enjoyed the film made by your cameraman Brian Worthington. <laughs>